All right, guys, we're back to another fun fiction story for today's Read Aloud. The story made me laugh. It's called But. I was going to dedicate this to Pirates Everywhere, but I should probably dedicate it to my mother and father, who always made sure my head was warm. Eddie lived with his dad and their dog, Phil, in Halibut Bay, where hats were hard to come by and people had cold heads. On this particular Friday, Eddie and Phil looked forward to a fun weekend of fishing, but Eddie's father stopped them in their tracks. Your Aunt Sue tripped on some yarn and broke her leg while making a pair of polka dot socks, he said while rubbing his cold head. You have to do her chores. No fishing, Eddie cried. No fishing, Phil cried. No fishing, Dad said. Watch out for pirates, Dad shouted as Eddie and Phil sailed off. And keep your heads warm, he added. Eddie and Phil had good headwind and encountered no pirates, but they were still very late. Hurry, Aunt Sue shouted. I've been waiting with this cold head of mine. Here's your list of chores. They all need to be done today, but you must do them quietly. I need to sleep and I'll be very angry if you wake me. And with that, she sent them away. Eddie and Phil swept, washed the dishes and did laundry. Oh no, Phil shouted as he looked at the first, uh, at the list of chores. Did you see this? We have to throw a party today and not just any party, but a birthday party for Aunt Sue's friend, Captain Rugbeard. It says we need to get him a good present or he'll be furious. A pirate birthday party, Eddie said. I've never been to a pirate birthday party. What do we need? Same as any birthday party, Phil said. Cake, ice cream, and at least one balloon. So they made a cake and thought about what to give Captain Rugbeard for his for a present. They came up with all sorts of good ideas, like a treasure chest filled with gold, the balloons, and, a, and pieces of eight, but the only things they could find in the house were socks that Aunt Sue had made. And Phil and Eddie didn't think those socks were the kind of present a pirate would like. Normally I'd say, or normally I'd say get him something else, Phil said, but we have no choice. The pirates are here. Surprise, Eddie and Phil shouted when the pirates got there. Everything was ready, but Eddie's heart sank when he saw Captain Rugbeard had only one leg because Eddie and Phil were giving him two socks. Arrgh, Captain Rugbeard shouted. Even though my head is cold, this is a great party. I can't wait to open my presents, but... Let's enjoy this balloon and eat cake and ice cream first. As the pirates gave Rugbeard his presents, Eddie was horrified to see what they were. Termite repellent, wood polish, all for Rugbeard's wooden leg. Eventually, Rugbeard wanted Eddie's present, but Eddie had hidden it. I don't know where it is, Eddie said. I must have lost it. Eddie was feeling hopeful, but... I, a smelly pirate named Stinky Joe found the present behind a chair. Arg! how nicely wrapped, Rugbeard said. I'd hate to tear this lovely paper, but... He did. Rugbeard looked confused. What are these, he asked. They look like a pair of socks. Rugbeard was about to get very, very angry, but... Just then, a cold breeze blew through the window, giving Eddie's head a chill and his brain an idea. They look like socks, Eddie said, but they are actually a matching hat and sock set. Captain Rugbeard mumbled and grumbled as he tried on the hat and sock. Arg! he shouted. My head is warm. Yo ho ho. And so things seem to be okay. But Captain Rugbeard's shouts were very woke and sue. And true to her word, she was very, very angry until the other pirates wanted matching hat and sock sets and gave Aunt Sue so many, gave Aunt Sue many gold doubloons and pieces of eight. You may think that, that this is the end of the story, but everyone in Halibut Bay heard about Aunt Sue's matching hat and sock sets. So now all the citizens of Halibut Bay have warm heads. But everyone has one cold foot.
the end. All right, guys, have a great day. I'm going to post your assignment on Dojo, and I hope you get a chance to enjoy the sunshine. Miss you all. Bye.